Hello everyone. Today I'm going to speak about shutter speed and ISO. In the last video we learned what's the aperture. I'm going to explain to you what's the shutter speed first. To put it in simple words, the shutter speed is like a door that opens for a defined period of time. If you use a fast shutter speed, you will be able to freeze the motion of a fast-moving object, like a car or the propeller blades of a fan. If you use a high shutter speed you will need good light conditions. When you use a fast shutter speed less light will fall onto the sensor. Here a higher ISO could help, more on that later. To get more light onto the sensor use a slower shutter speed. When you are using a slower one, more light is going to be captured by the sensor. A slower shutter speed is more sensible to camera shakes. If you want to shoot with a slow shutter, put the camera on a tripod. To get sharp images handheld with a slower speed use the double of your focal length. For example, if you use 30mm go for 1 60 of a second. If you have a stabilized lens you can go a bit below. To capture a waterfall or you want to shoot the stars, use a slow speed like 15 to 30 seconds. If you go past 30 seconds you might have seen bulb. That's to expose longer than 30 seconds, for example a minute, 10 minutes, 1 hour, or more. Now on to the ISO. So the ISO was the sensitivity of the sensor. Or how much light it can capture. By cranking it up you could use a faster shutter speed or a more closed aperture. If you use 150 with ISO 100, with ISO 200 you will be able to use 100 of a second. With a too high ISO, your pictures are going to be noisier and grainier. But be not afraid to crank it up to ISO 800 or higher if needed. But top of that ISO 3200, if you have a full frame camera you can go even higher. It's better to have a picture with some noise than a blurry and not sharp one. The noise is less visible during the day because there is more available light. If you want to shoot star trails you can turn the ISO up to 3200. On a full frame camera, you can go even higher. Some full frame cameras have even not that much noise at ISO 10000. Hope you liked it, see you.